Starting next week, we have a combined event on the ATP and WTA, the Canadian Open, which is a big tournament leading into the US Open and a big part of the US Open series. And it's a very unique event. And we're gonna go through everything you need to know about the Canadian Open, its history and everything going on next week in terms of the tournament itself. So the Canadian Open was founded back in 1881 and is the second oldest tournament behind Wimbledon. It's been around for over a hundred years and was actually a clay court event up until 1979, which is kind of strange because it's one of the staples for the US Open series going into the US Open. And as I mentioned, it's an ATP 1000 and WTA 1000 event, meaning it's a big deal in terms of outside of the slams, one of the biggest tournaments in the world. Daniel Medvedev and Camilla Georgi are the defending champions of this event. So they've got a lot of points to defend at these tournaments. It's actually a very unique event because both tournaments are held in Canada, but they're not held at the same venue. The men play in Montreal and the women play at Toronto. And every second year they swap it around. So it's a little bit of a unique event. The venue in Toronto is actually actually consisting of 12 outdoor hard courts, category three hard courts, which means it's a medium speed court, with the main stadium being the Sorbet Stadium, which holds up to 12,500 people when it sells out. Whereas the venue over in Montreal, it also has 12 outdoor hard courts and they are all category three, which is a medium speed court, with the IGA Stadium being its center court, which holds up to 11,800 people. And it's court number one holds up to 4,000 people. So two large stadiums in the venue. Both tournaments will be using Hawkeye on every single court available. Having a look at the prize money for this event, on the men's side, the quarterfinalists will be getting $74,000. A semi-final will get you $121,000 US dollars. If you make the final, you're gonna get $211,000. And if you win the whole thing, you'll win $370,000. On the women's side, making a quarterfinal will get you $41,000. A semi-final will get you to $87,000. The final will bag you $164,000 and the winner will get a cool $221,000 as well as lifting the trophy. The points distribution is a little bit different as well from the ATP and the WTA. You make a quarterfinal on the ATP, you'll get 180 points. A semifinal will get you 360 points. A final will get you 600 points. And of course, as the name suggests, winning the tournament will get you 1,000 points total. On the WTA, if you make a quarterfinal, you get 190 points. You make a semifinal, it'll be 350 points. The final will get you 585 points. And if you win the whole thing, you get 900 points for this event. So a little bit different on the ATP and WTA in terms of those points distribution and the prize money as well. The men's draw is actually a little bit smaller than the women's draw with 46 players playing in the main draw, which consists of about six qualifiers and three wild cards if we go off last year's tournament. 16 seeds with all 16 seeds getting a buy in the first round. So that's why it's a smaller tournament. On the women's side, there'll be 56 players in the main draw with around eight qualifiers, five wild cards if it goes off last year's tournament. There'll also be 16 seeds in this draw, but only the top eight get a buy in the first round. So now that that is all out of the way, we have to wait for the draw ceremony, which will be happening in the next couple of days and also the draw preview as well. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win these two tournaments? Bit of a prediction early on who's going to set their US Open series up with a win.